Oh, hey guys, uh, welcome to Larry's Garage. Like and subscribe, share if you want to. Uh, today, we're, uh, we're working on the 440 for the fire wagon. We, we pulled this out of the motor home and we tore it, destroyed the motor home, got the motor running, did this burnout. And pulled it out, sit over here in the corner. And I'm really not going to do anything major to the engine. I want to leave it pretty much stock. I do want to find an intake for it later, and eventually we'll do cams and head and all that stuff to it. But I don't want to put it in the uh, power wagon. It's pretty much stock as I can. The manifolds are broken. I'm not going to buy manifolds just to test it. I got a set of headers up here. I got already got three inch exhaust built, so I'll just put it in and put the headers on. But uh, so we take it to the track, and test it, and move it stock, put the air cleaner on it, and everything on it, and then we'll take the air cleaner off and change intakes, and carburetors, and maybe later bring it back home, put a different cam in it, do some head work on it. Different things, just step by step, see if we can get it a little faster, a little faster. And this is a street truck. I don't want to make it a drag truck. That's what the little D150 short bed step sides for. This, uh, get this motor up. Now, I cannot stand late 70s Dodge Blue on their engines. And being that in 79, Dodge never put a 440 in a, in a power wagon. They definitely didn't make a two-wheel drive power wagon or a lowered one. Uh, I'm gonna paint it the color I want to. It's gonna be painted good old fashioned. Hemi orange. We're gonna clean it up, take it apart, clean it up, wash it, degrease it, put a coat of paint on it before it goes in the truck. Alright, well, I better get wood busy. I need to get these off, the manifolds off of it. I wanna pull the spark plugs and see how they look like. I'm sure they're foul and nasty. Uh, Get all this stuff off the top of it. It's like load it, wash it up. All right, I get to work. Something. That looks like I broke my ratchet. Oh well. Yeah, that's strange. Oh, let me see if I can get something drove on there. Now I've seen some pretty interesting repairs doing work on cars. 
just like all you had, the seat with you too much. This and this, this one's kind of a first for me. They had a cracked exhaust manifold and decided to fix it with silicone. Yeah, that's fun. Let's get this other manifold off over here. And then we'll pull a spark plug, see what we got. Now, Danny won't be here for a while. He's uh, not going to be around for a month or so. And I'll be missing him. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll run this thing the first time on that thermal quad that was on it. And we'll leave the stock air cleaner on it. Stock timing, and then we'll pull, we'll pull the air cleaner off with the thermal quad still on. Play, play with the uh, timing, see if we can get make it run a little better. Now it does have the transmission behind this that we got put together. It's going to have a, it's got a shift kit. 2,500 stall. It's got 411s and a posi in the, in the chassis. But it'd be interesting seeing what this old 440 made to the 360 it used to be in it. What did it make with a stock air cleaner and stock intake and changing parts? Doing it little by little. At least I think it will be. But I'm an old car geek, you know. Oh. I don't even know what heads are on this, actually. I guess I have to pull the valve cover at some point to figure out what heads are in it. I know it's a cast crank. The motorhome was an 80 and I, you know, yeah, Dodge stopped that putting them in production cars in 78. They had holdovers they sold in uh, motorhome chassis till it, I know, in the 80s. Now, it'd be interesting to look at the numbers on the motor here in a little bit and see what year, it, you know, what year the motor was actually built, even though it wasn't that 80 Dodge motorhome. Let me get an extension.
Well, I guess I could, could have pre disassembled it and made it look like a lot easier. But you'd have to wish to fight the bolts. Yeah, there's another bolt anchor. <coughs> Looks like she was burning some. And well, they're running rich. Can't imagine. There's the numbers. Let me wipe them off. Let's see what we got. Just as I suspected. Six months, 27th day of 1978. There we go. Six months, 27th day of 1978. <sighs> That's nice to know. Now we know when it was built. I'm sure it was a 78. You know, they had holdover motors, extra parts. And if you ordered a one ton chassis for a motor home, you could get a 440 still in it. All right. So if somebody tells you you can't get a 440 past 78, you know that they're, they're, they're wrong now. Let's get the spark plugs out. Alright, let's get the spark plugs out of this thing. You know, and there's, you can't tell how it's running really. Yeah. Pretty black. And like I said, it's sit for 13 years. And I smell like fuel. Of course, we just fired it up, did a burnout, and shut it off, and never started again because the transmission was. So we started, the transmission was gone. Well, that one ain't quite as bad. A little black carbon, but not wet. Black carbon, nah, not dry, not wet. Who knows when it has the last tune-up? Wow, that can't be good. Spark plug wires just fall apart and take them out. Mine need a tune-up. Same thing. It was running rich. Hope I can get that thermal quad to run decent, but it was running rich. Same story. That was a little better. Still running rich, but same thing. No difference there. Yeah, she was just running rich all the way around, which doesn't surprise me at all. I mean, uh, like I said, 13 years not being run. When it was run, we fired it up. It, it ran. We went and did a nice, big, nasty burnout with it. And then tore it apart. I'll get a new set of plugs for it before I put it in. New plug wires, new cap rotor. I'll see if I can get that thermal quad to work in good. So we'll put it on here. 
test the down the track with it, and then I've got um, I got to find an intake. You know, and if you happen to have an intake, you know, put something in the comments. You know, I'm, I'm looking for a dual plane, like Elderbrock Performer RPM, Wiseman Stealth, or something like that to put on it. Uh, you know, message me in the comments. And maybe we can get together and I'll buy it from you. Uh, I got a 750 Demon I'm going to put on it. So then I'm going to be looking for a cam. Eventually we'll pull the heads off and work on them. Maybe tear the motor of the block down, put more, put more compression in it. Like I said, she's going to be an everyday driver. I'm going to drive her back and forth to work probably quite a bit so I can get some miles off my 66. So I'm going to go back to tearing this, taking this part, get all these pulleys and brackets off of it so I can take it and wash it tomorrow and degrease it, and get some paint on it. I will I'll probably be back while I'm going to do that, do that tomorrow. All right, well, we got all this stuff to wear off, guys. All right, we're back. I pulled the uh, time I'm going to go ahead and pull the Valkyr off. You might as well see it when I see it. You might as well be as amazed by how it looks as I am. Uh, pulled the stripper cap off. The cap don't look bad. These wires are junk. The cap don't look real bad. Uh, I won't be you. I'll, I'll buy any wires for it. A lot of this stuff can leave. All right, let me get her. It's like a half inch. Give me a sec. I'm going to get the air compressor, or fire up the air compressor, and we'll blow this stuff off this motor before we ever open it up. All right. All right, guys. Welcome back. I uh, decided we would go ahead and blow this. Your garbage off the top of the motor uh, and then we'll pull the valve covers off and you can find out how sludged up it is the same as I, when I do no new surprises you know these valve covers off. I'm going to pull the intake off, clean out that valve fan. I'm interested to see what this looks like. I mean, it's motorhome motor. They tend to get sludged up from not being run hard. We'll know how good the service was on it pretty quick. 70,000 miles is what this says. 70 something is what this motor had, what had on the odometer. Pedals had no real wear. Like most motor homes, they don't get drove a lot usually. Oh, look at that. That's going to be a nice. Hang on. Let me go get a big plug. I'm back. Oh. Hey, you told me I missed a couple of volts. Never touched this motor. Somebody has. You can tell the valve covers have been off, but uh, not bad. Not bad at all. 
kind of happy about that. Uh, Okay, last. Last three and the 452. What do you guys tell me? The 452 is a good big block Dodge head? I've never been a big block Dodge guy. I've always been a small block Dodge guy. So, what do you guys let me know? Is that a good, is it a good head? And would it be a good one to port, work on? Side is cleaned up nice. Let's check the other side out. She's been sludged. I don't know what they've done to the motor. Uh, oh, here. You can see. You got some baked on along the inside edge. Not horrible by no means. Seen worse. And it ain't pretty clean for an old motor that ain't been run a lot. All right. Let's get this to put out and get the intake off here. All along, guys, I finished tearing down the 440, got the intake off of it, the accessories off of it. It's ready to go take it in town, clean it up. Well, we've got to be on the next video. We'll take it down, clean it up, get it painted, and start getting the accessories painted, and put back on, get it ready to go into the chassis. I still got to cut the chassis down. That'll be a bit future videos. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, liking, and subscribing. You know, uh, I really appreciate it. And you guys have a good night. Thanks again.